The first main problem of taking a Borg figure over to a doctor or a nurse figure is the arm, the right arm. Now, I've looked at a lot of different um, six-inch figures. In the first contact movie group of Playmates figures, uh, Jordy and Captain Picard in the black uniform have the same kind of arm joint. And what that is, is a, a, like a rod, a peg that goes into a frame that has two holes on the side. Um, so I was going to buy a part stall, um, probably of Captain Picard, and to get this arm off, um, boil some water like I'm making a cup of tea. I put the arm in the water and it softens up the plastic enough um, after a couple of minutes where you could take it apart. Um, that's also the best way to get the head off of a Barbie without splitting the neck. Um, you dip the whole thing in like a cup of tea or I have a Pyrex cup that I put the water in. Um, but then I was thinking, um, that's kind of like assimilating uh, the Enterprise. So, you have two other options. Carving is, is both of them. Um, nobody, none of the other figures have this kind of Borg hand. Now, I could buy another Borg and pretend the Borg is turning his hand outward and put one of those on there. I didn't want to do that. So, I don't know if any of you know that um, there's a whole line of what are called Hitty dolls. And Hitty was a hand-carved uh, wooden doll, um, I think from the 30s. And uh, she had a whole adventure being lost in a store or something. And then people started carving Hitty dolls. And I've done a few of them. Um, so I think in my life, the best way to replace this arm is going to be to hand carve it. This is a three quarter inch square, um, I guess it might be balsa. It's probably balsa wood. If you look for Hitty doll carving wood, or any wood you want to use, um, three-quarter inch square, and the piece you need has to match the piece because you want it, <clears throat> excuse me, about the same size even if you change the shape of the hand. The other option is um, Sculpey 3 polymer clay which gets baked in the oven. And that would probably be easier and faster to make an arm piece uh, for this and um, either one is good wood or Sculpey and with Sculpey you carve it and then you bake it for like a half an hour I, I'm probably going to use the wood because my other dolls that I've hand carved have a certain kind of uh, movable joint that Instead of trying to carve the two little pegs that stick into that hole, which I could do with either uh, Sculpey or wood, I might put a regular um, pin joint in there. I think it'll be more durable. Uh, Sculpey is very durable. I have looms made out of it and I've dropped them. It doesn't break. Um, so Sculpey's good or wood. And I think if you're going to do this project, the first thing to do is the right arm. Maybe you'll have, um, you know, maybe you don't care that much about uh, where you got the parts from. The six inch Picard is going to have an arm that is slightly smaller within that hand. So that's the advantage of doing it yourself. Um, and to add, I'll be using flex cut carving knives, but you can also use uh, well sharpened 
pocket knife or a whittling knife uh, for the wood. You don't have to spend a lot of money. The flex cut knives are a little bit expensive. Um, but you can use a halfway decent, well sharpened, not a pen knife, a pocket knife, and do the carving that way. Okay, now carving in clay is easier. I don't have any Sculpey here, but this is the Crayola Air Dry Clay, and this is about um, two inches long by just about three quarters. Um, if you're going to use Sculpey clay, I'll show you some of the tools that you would want. You basically only need, um, it's more or less a scholastic clay carving set. They usually run about six or seven dollars. Um, but some other tools you're going to want um, are actually dental tools. This is an old dental pick. Um, this is like aluminum wire that I use the roundedness to shape things. Um, a hair clip that will cut things. They have loop tools that are useful, that are double-ended. Um, another loop tool. This is, um, it's a, like a brush cleaner for um, your electric shaver. This you're going to want is a needle tool. Amazon or Dick Blick art materials should have most of these. This is a big carving uh, clay cutting knife. Another smaller loop tool. And then this is a set that you might be able to buy and do most of it with. Hawk six piece carver set. Um, the price isn't on here. So those are basic clay carving tools. And clay is easier uh, to work with at the beginning than knives. Um, and you can see the first thing to do is get your piece of clay about the size of the body part you're doing. Now, even if you're going to carve it in wood with the Crayola air dry clay, um, you can make a prototype and size it out the fingers, if you're going to match the hand like this, the fingers um, with a Sculpey 3, you need the firm clay, which is specifically made for doll parts. And I'll find that and put the link in there. With wood, um, you'd be carving, you know, fingers. Um, but with the Sculpey, you need the firm clay. So if I were going to make a prototype arm, like this, I would leave a, out of the air dry clay, I would leave a big chunk where the elbow would be because I'm not sure yet how I want to um, fit the joint. I'd take out the middle part and I'd leave another big chunk and this is also for the wood, do it the same way for the hand, depending on your hand. So you want to get the actual arm portion removed off of there and then start to shape the hand and the last thing you would shape is the elbow um, area depending on whether you want to copy what they do and just pop it in with Sculpey or wood or whether you want to do another kind of pin joint um, on an arm. So basic clay tools with a few extras that you can probably find around the house if you don't want to buy a clay cutting knife, you can use a butter knife. Um, <clears throat> you might even have dental picks around the house. Um, so clay is a little bit easier to work with and a little bit more economical. And um, like I said, you would need the, I think it's Sculpey 3 Firm or Extra Firm. I'll look for it and I'll put the link there and um, this also because in my case I'm dealing with surgery trauma uh, carving or clay working with clay really works that out of your system um, whittling and I'll show you a few of the knives um, that you might want to look at 
um, including a flex cut knife that you could do this with um, in the in a next little piece of the video but working with clay and whittling or carving is extremely uh, therapeutic with the knives uh, and wood carving you just have to be careful always keep your knife sharp um, a dull knife will cut you faster than a sharp knife in the sense where it's going to slip off the wood um, a sharp knife is going to cut the wood and not slip around so you would need to do some research with uh, wood carving on safety and best knives that you like um, I'll show you those in a minute but these are basic clay carving tools that with Sculpey 3 you could make replacement body parts and uh, Sculpey can be painted. It also comes in colors, but the firm doll making clay, I believe, only comes in the flesh color. Uh, these are some um, basic pocket knives. Uh, many of them just uh, cheap knives that come out of China, which is not always that bad. This is a nice knife, the old timer. Um, I've picked out a few specifically more to be a pen knife uh, for the colors. There is a uh, Victoria Knox Swiss Army Classic. That's really um, a pen knife type thing. A couple of uh, vintage Girl Scout knives. This is the one I use most often for whittling. And you can see, I'm not going to open it, it's got a long blade. Um, but that's when I'm making like weaving battens or long things. If this is your piece of wood, you want to match the blade to what you're doing. So in this case where I need to leave a chunk at the top and a bigger chunk at the bottom for the hand section and just kind of get the arm portion out of there first, um, if you're just going to buy one knife, this is the Victorian Ox uh, Swiss Army knife, the Spartan. And I've had this knife for about 40 years. Um, the newer versions have the toothpicks added. Mine's old. And um, so this blade size, that's the large blade. You can see it's controllable to whittle that middle section out. This is the smaller blade, which you can also use uh, to make little, like, uh, digouts to um, shape the arm. Um, a few of these, well, this is my old Girl Scout knife. Um, a few of these would run $40 or so. Um, the classic... A uh, pen knife is really not going to do carving for you. Um, and so many knives come out of China now. There are a few Boker knives um, that I've had my eye on for several years. But they're like $80. And I have other these other knives will do it. So you don't have to spend an awful lot of money. Um, these run about $30. But like I said, mine's 40 years old. And this was the main knife I've used uh, for 40 years. And it does have screwdriver, um, bottle opener, a reamer for sewing. Um, if you're going to buy one knife, buy the Spartan. Now, um, as I progressed with carving and the shaping for dolls, I did move to flex cuts, and this is the basic flex cut knife. But when you're using a knife like this, so if I use my flex cut instead of working away from myself with a whittling blade, I'll have a thumb guard on and I'll be pulling this toward me, um, pulling the knife toward me to do the shaping. It depends. On what you're more comfortable with. So this is a homemade thumb guard um, that I made out of leather on I think the 1591 sewing machine. 
This is a commercial one. And they're not really all that thick. So, but they're only like $3. So you always want to have one of these. You put it on, if you're right-handed, you put it on your right thumb if you're using a flex cut type knife to pull. Um, flex cut makes other tools and these run about $20 a piece. These are miniature um, like V cutters. But I'm not going to really need that for this project. And this is called a scorp which can make channels and do shaping. Um, I might need that. But I can probably do most, if not all, of an arm in wood with either one flex cut or the Victorian Ox Spartan. Just make sure you have a thumb guard and that you know what you're doing. You know, I, you don't want to give a knife to like a 10-year-old. Um, believe me, I was teaching my son how to carve well and safely, and he still had a huge accident with a knife. So, not for children. Um, have them do replacement parts in Scopey clay.